Your pictures in the PhotoLink library reflect a deepening fall. Mike Stevens thought the whole thing lent itself to a bit of poetry. Robert Frost wrote a lovely little piece that condensed the seasons ending in fall. Nature's first green is gold, he wrote, and that holds for even this rejuvenated spring flower from Cynthia Rod of Catawissa. Here as well, flowers along Fireline Trail at Hickory Run from Lorraine Bernadine of Numidia. Her hardest hue to hold, Frost continued. Nature loses her grip and then offers nice days in Wyoming County so folks like Janie Stabinski of Mahoopany can take a stroll. So Sharon Mordan of Danville can view the Josiah Hess covered bridge in Benton. So Brittany Kirshner of Berwick could spot a distant tree decked out in full color through the Fowlersville covered bridge. Jasper DeFazio of Greenfield Township welcomed a new day at Newton Lake. A cool fall morning here at the Panorama Golf Course in Clifford Township. This is from Ben Vowder. The sun shines through the changing leaves nature has thoughtfully provided on this tree in the backyard of Debbie Park in Albrightsville. At the family farm in Canton, a brisk fall morning offered an opportunity for Megan Frankenberger to capture a moment. Nature provides a changing palette for a while at least. Chris Grego of Shimokin looked down at Keller Hollow Road near 118. Jim Legg of Goldsboro sent us a photo that saw the end of the day. Another one done, but tomorrow it will all be different. Her early leaf's a flower, but only so an hour, Frost continued. And now at places like Lake Scranton, where Jay Lewis was, it is autumn. Frost concluded, nothing gold can stay. Fittingly, Amanda Malloy of Freeland sent a photo that fits right in. Take some pictures of this fleeting season and send them on in to the PhotoLink Library. See you next time. I'm Mike Stevens.